everybody, Ryan Medora here, and I wanted to bring you another lesson in this blues series of videos. Um, we've spent some time learning different feels, a couple different shuffle feels, a rumba feel, uh, the country blues, and uh, now I wanted to focus on some of the transitions that you can use when you're moving from chord to chord in a 12 bar blues. So um, again, if you if you checked out that country video where we were doing Call Me the Breeze, uh, I said, don't worry, there's going to be some more info coming soon, and uh, here it is. We've got it. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be working in the key of A, just because 12 bar blues in A is uh, a beautiful thing. Um, but any of these moves, you're going to be able to translate to other feels as well as to other keys. So if you happen to be playing in the key of G or F sharp or C, um, any of these moves will work in those keys as long as you kind of follow uh, the, the, the way through the chord progression. That is the true key to the highway. A little blues joke for you. Um, speaking of that, if you need a song that uh, has a lot of these transitions that we're going to go over in it, uh, it's Key to the Highway. That's a great example of uh, different ways you can move through chords. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, just so you know, you can find tab and notation for the things in this video by going over to my Patreon page or my True Fire channel. So check those out. Um, and in the meantime, let's get started. So I'm just going to be playing a 12 bar blues in A. I'm going to use kind of a walking feel similar to the, the duck dun groove. And uh, it's just going to be going one, three, five, six. I'll probably throw my octave in there. And um, I'm going to just play through a 12 bar blues progression for you right now. And then we'll talk about where we can place some of these transitions. So that's just a 12 bar blues played with a kind of cool walking feel. Now let's throw some interest in there because while it's great to have these patterns down and you could do this all day long, um, it's even more fun when we integrate voice leading. Now this concept of voice leading basically means we're going to choose certain notes to help lead from one chord to the next in the chord progression. So if we're playing a 12 bar blues and the first chords go from A to D or one to four, we want to imply that we're going to the four chord really before we get there. And we can do so like this. Where we make it pretty obvious, you know, if we were doing this. The logical thing to do is to land on this note. So that kind of movement is what we as bass players want to learn how to use within our bass lines so that we can... Um, kind of subconsciously, but, but really obviously actually, um, imply the direction that we're moving in. And chromatic motion is a great way to do that. Chromatic motion means that we're just using half steps and we are basically going, you know, fret by fret. And that creates a good amount of tension and is a great way to just lead us from one chord to the next. So we're going to talk about a couple spots within our 12 bar blues progression where we can integrate a couple really excellent chromatic lines. So to begin, let's just move from our one chord to our four chord and back to one. So this will be the first few bars of a 12 bar blues. All right, we've got a cool move already. So instead of playing this pattern on our four chord, just the regular same walking feel, I'm deciding to play a chromatic a chromatic phrase to lead us back to A, which is our one, because we go one, four, back to one. So when I land on the D chord, instead of playing the pattern, I'm actually playing the root note, and then when I play the third, I'm gonna walk it up to the fifth. So this is our move. Now the cool thing about that is the fifth of the D chord is an A, which coincidentally is our one. It's the, no it's the note we're trying to get back to. So again, we're just using our knowledge of chords and arpeggios and theory and all that good stuff to help us play better, right? So we're saying our D chord, we're gonna go back to A. This is a great way to do it. Playing the root note, 
the third, walking up to what is the fifth of the chord of D, but really the one, A. So I'm going to play for you how I play that phrase, and we'll keep going from our one chord. So when you go and you land on this high A, all you need to do is play the regular pattern that you're used to playing, but instead of starting it with this lower A, you're starting it here, which means instead of going like this, you're going to go like this. You're going to start with that higher A, reach down to the third, the fifth, and the sixth. I'll play it one more time for you. Got another move in there. So this time, I knew I was at my A chord, the one. I wanted to go back to the four chord, which is D, and I'm going to use another chromatic transition. Now, this time, we're actually moving from the second note of the scale up to the four chord. So in our previous move, we went from the third of the chord up to the fifth. This time, we're going from the second to the fourth. So my root is A. I'm going to find the second note of the scale, which is B. I could play it here, but uh, for the sake of four fret span awesomeness, I'm going to grab it over here. And I'm basically going to just going to walk up B, C, C sharp, D, or two, sharp two, or flat three, three, four, and boom, I have landed on my four chord. So let's do the whole progression up until this point. We have our one, our four with our walk up. walking up to the four chord. So already we've thrown in two fantastic chromatic moves to help us move through this chord progression. So practice those. Once you're ready, we can keep going. And um, now that we are at our four chord, maybe it would be cool to play our pattern, but uh, play it lower. So instead of going one, three, five, six, we want to go one, catch that lower three, five, and six. Now, again, this is totally fair game and a great way to navigate a blues progression and to sound, you know, a little bit more hip. So the great thing about it is either way, we're going D, F sharp, A, and then we're throwing that sixth in that part of the pattern. We've got a B here. Um, but when we go to play it lower, we're still going D, F sharp, A, and B. All I'm doing is playing the pattern and going lower. But the great thing about that is, again, we can play it once, and then if we play it again, remember the move from before, we walked up from the third to the fifth, or from F sharp up to A. So I just played the same move, an octave lower, and it was totally awesome. So in context, again, I'm gonna kinda play through the progression start to finish so you can hear where this goes. We're going our A to our four chord D with our walk up back to A. I'm going to do my chromatic walk up to the D. Now I'm going to play the pattern lower and I'm going to grab that walk up to land on this lower A. So we've made a lot of moves. We've got a couple more chords to go. Let's see if we can take the sucker home. So once we've gone from our four chord back to our one, we're here for two bars. The one first bar I'm going to play regular, the second bar, I'm going to do another walk up and it'll be awesome. Coincidentally, it is the same walk up that we did when we went from our four chord back to our one. That relationship exists within the blues progression right here as well. A walking up to E. Again, we're going from our root to our five, so we can play our root note. The third, walk up to the five. Boom. Let's play it top to bottom. We start with our A. We have our D chord. We're going to do the walk up back to A. Walking it up to D. I'm going to play the pattern lower now, so I can get that lower walk up. Play the pattern regular once. And now that last time, I'm going to walk up to the five again by going the third or C sharp 
up to E. Once I'm at my five chord, maybe I'd want to just, instead of doing a full walk, I'm just going to go root the lower fifth, back to the root, and then throw in a little chromatic motion down to my four chord. This is a really simple move that's going to sound great every time. So the fifth, the fifth of the chord, back to five, flat five, land on the four. And then when we're here, we can actually play our walk up there or our walk up there to get us back to one. And then we play out the chord progression. And there we have it. So now I'm going to play the whole thing for you top to bottom and uh, see if you can follow along. did it. That was awesome. So those are all different chromatic moves that you can throw in. Again, these are going to sound familiar to you the more you listen to different blues tunes. Um, get these under your fingers and just get comfortable hearing where they fall. Know that it's all about creating direction and leading the listener and the band from the chord you're on to the chord that you're going to. And um, it's just a beautiful thing that we can do in a blues progression. 